you identify a theory of defense, okay? What is the motive to fabricate? Evidence of consent, mistake of fact as to consent, eyewitnesses. You're gonna, you got to develop the heart of your case. And then you've got to turn them into themes and theories of your case. Because if it's going to trial, you can't go to trial randomly. You got to have a theme and you got to have theories. So you develop through the investigation process. You develop through the preferral process. By the time trial comes, your case needs to be broken down into the three or four things that you need to show the jury. Now, the burden's not on us, right? But you've got to have that yeah, theory of defense. You've got a case to present. And I'm a fundamental believer that if you can present a case to a jury that passes the common sense test, you can win. What makes more sense that this E6 sexually assaulted this girl in a bathroom at a dance club and he didn't know who she was, or that his buddy saw them dancing together and saw them go into the bathroom together and saw him and her holding hands and kissing? What makes more sense to the jury? Yeah. You identify the theme and theory. You lay that out in opening statement. And if you're going to put an opening, Mickey, you know this. You got to make sure that they're accurate and that you're going to be able to get those facts yeah. in cross-examination of the accuser. Because if you can't get it through the accuser, you can't get it through other forms, and you say something to the panel that turns out not to be true, credibility is king, you're hurting your client. Yeah. So every time I, I always say, here's what the case is in opening. Here's what the case is going to be about. Theme, here are the three things we expect the evidence to show. Those three things I expect to get out during my cross-examination of the accuser. Which must be a delicate process. It is. I would and, assume. And you got to be good. Yeah. And then when you cross that accuser, you got to be exacting. And man, you got to be prepped. You got to have every statement she's ever made. You've got to have them compared. The second that the story changes, and it could be a he, right? He or she. The second that story changes... You got to be able to impeach on your toes because that's what makes a trial lawyer. And if you can't impeach inconsistent statements, if you can't impeach through contradiction, if you don't know how to do those things smoothly, then let me tell you something, that client's in trouble.